dual energy, so just like the sun contains all the colors of the light, of the rainbow, right? You've got your red, green, blue um, light sitting in there. X-ray also has many different colors inside it. I just say colors, it's, a, it's kind of a layman's term, but, uh, um, but in reality, they're just different frequencies or spectrums um, inside that X-ray. And each one of those is giving certain amounts of insight. Um, just like you look at a color photograph, um, you can definitely see the greenness of the grass on a color photograph, but you wouldn't be able to see it on a black and white photograph. With X-ray today, we're still taking black and white images. Okay, we're still sitting in, it, it really, as Amal often says, X-ray really hasn't changed in over a century. It was invented or discovered by Ronkin in 1896. And here we are in 2020 and pretty much it's still black and white. So what we've done is we've explored the color aspect of the different spectrums of the different energies that are already inside the x-ray and we're starting to make use of those so dual energy is really saying um, we're looking at two different energies inside um, inside the uh, x-ray and we take one energy that is really good at highlighting soft tissue and another energy that's really good at highlighting bone and then we use that to basically separate the bone from the soft tissue so when you look at our images we can actually show you an x-ray image, the regular one, but we can also show you that same image with one material, like the bone, completely taken out. And when you take the bone out, you just get the soft tissue, so you can visualize all the abnormalities now without having that bone kind of obscuring your vision. <laughs>